Hey guys, good evening everyone. Welcome back to uh, the Daily Stock Market Insights by Miss JD. And uh, in today's episode, we are going to talk about how the market performed for October 27th, 2020. So if this is the uh, first time you're watching this video, I'm inviting you to uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever we have new videos. In the meantime, what you see on your screen is uh, my favorite app. This is Investograms. This is where I do my charts and uh, I check out some of the latest gossips <laughs> about the stocks. Um, but um, anyway, th this portal has so many features. It has uh, the news here for whatever stock you're looking into. Uh, in the meantime, let me just go ahead and set up my uh, tools here. I've uh, I've saved a few that I would normally use here. Let's just remove the background. I don't like seeing the background. Background watermark. Let's remove that so it's clean. Okay. <clears throat> so what do we have for today? Let's check out, first of all, our index. And then we work away from top to bottom. We check out the uh, stocks that were highly traded for today. And then we work our way downward. So also, if I feel that the uh, video is starting to become very long and uh, we still have a few more stocks that I, I can uh, probably review, I can go ahead and uh, cut it and create another part. So uh, it doesn't get too boring. Okay, now let us uh, check out the index. For um, for today, we had a solid red. And um, I'm not sure if you have watched our previous video. Uh, I, I said that uh, there could be some profit taking that will happen. In fact, this candlestick that happened um, last Friday, no, this was a Monday. I was not able to record yesterday. Sorry about that. Uh, but <clears throat> this this over here is already a sign that there's some slowdown that uh, um, is happening or that happened on that day. And um, so chances are, uh, of course, you will expect some more declines. In fact, as you notice here, um, while the uh, volume slowly, we were increasing in volume as the price goes higher. Notice what happened when uh, the price level uh, at this area, uh, I mean the price level hit that area, there's a significant volume. So that means uh, most likely some of the major players um, had significant uh, selling pressure that really happened in that on that day. So probably this is three days worth of performance and then one entire day everyone got out so looks like this is a volume worth three days in the making and so what we are um expecting here is that as the price drops what we want to see happen is the volume that you have here should decline that means um fewer people are selling or exiting their positions at that point uh, if you've come to uh, look at it if you try to observe what happened here in terms of volume so it, we were on a decline so price was moving downwards so the volume is also diminishing okay so uh, that's what we are trying to uh, anticipate but between it uh, experiencing a breakdown so why am i talking about the index because this is a a full picture of uh, all the major stocks in the country so for instance if it drops uh, the fact that we are now much higher than the ma20 line uh, that means you might just stabilize uh, the some key levels right here first could be uh, this one this could be the nearest drop and then uh, we might uh, see some recovery right after that so let's still see how our individual stocks are performing um, at this point. Okay, in the meantime, just expect some more profit taking that might take place in the coming days. If it's not going to drop fully, maybe in between this or 6,175 uh, could be some 
areas where it could drop, what you can do is uh, do a Fibonacci retracement, uh, apply a Fibonacci retracement tool to understand uh, which which key levels would it normally would it probably drop, maybe around this area. See that? So which is very near where we plotted it. So it could also drop up to this point or up to this point. If we want, I can remove the line I created so that it's not confusing. So key levels of where it could potentially drop. So go to the lowest point and then go to the highest point. If you used a wick down here, then you use a wick up there. If not, then body to body. Okay, so that's for the index. Uh, now let's take a look at how the other stocks are performing or have performed today. <clears throat> so this is the second day that Converge, um, just second day after the IPO. So as you notice, um, this stock has declined on the first day and then persistent dropping or drops happened uh, the second day. However, um, let's see if it will sustain because there was a rejection that happened right over here. Uh, although this is not uh, representative yet of uh, you know the possible support, unless you go to a much faster time frame, and then um, there you can probably check. So what happened here on a five-minute time frame uh, towards the latter part of the day, uh, consolidation happened. So we don't really know if it's going to drop tomorrow. Uh, or continue to uh, bounce now. So my recommendation for this one is, uh, especially if you're a bit new in trading, uh, don't engage in this yet because we don't really have we don't have a baseline. We don't know up to which level it could potentially drop. So if you're going to use a 15 minute time frame, notice where our Bollinger Band is starting to form at this point. So as we go near the MA20, um, it's not fully touching the line there, but as we go higher and higher, then uh, the candlestick is starting to become smaller and smaller. That means uh, less and less are showing interest in um, pushing the price higher here. So we don't know. It could probably drop again around the 1357 if you're going to be um, trading it, because at one point there was a uh, support built around this area. So it could probably drop there first before it recovers. But uh, still, uh, you have to fully observe this because, no, again, no baseline. We don't know yet up to which uh, level it could uh, drop and create a new support. So right now, it's still following the downtrend channel. If you're going to draw a line right over there, it's still downtrend. See that? <laughs> Hold on. Oops, it's not moving. Anyway, you get my point, right? So this is the uh, declining support, and this is the declining resistance. It's not moving. Anyway, so there you have it. If you draw brush, no wonder. That's your downtrend channel. There. Okay, <clears throat> so it could either stabilize here or create a lower low. Next is Dito. Dito, let's go to the daily chart for Dito. I think there were some profit taking. Oh, in the short term, you are uh, seated at the uh, resistance area. So let us see if it will recover right away. So far, it is. Uh, still uptrend right here and uh let's see if it will uh just drop up to the 610 level which is around your uh, ma20 area again okay, still here but guys um if you have not entered this stock yet i'd say and you're merely going to trade this stock so two things to bear in mind if you're about to enter and you want to trade this is not uh, an area where you should enter because at this level this is an area where most of the people are already taking profit. So just in any case, um, it revisits the 610 level um, 
610 level and uh, there's still not much volume that could potentially push the price higher or uh, maybe the candlestick pattern is not really going to give us some bullish signals. Um, it's Let's see if it will revisit some lower levels at that point. But um, again, uh, just make sure you're able to watch the market because technically we are already at a, a much higher level. Previously, our uh, highest um, area here was around the 8.5, 8.4 level. Uh, but uh, given the the uh, expected launch or yeah launch date of uh, the third telco is in 2021, anything can still happen. It's just October. Uh, there are so many things that can still happen. In fact, if in case 610 level is going to break, uh, that will be your opportunity to to buy some more. That's a much better entry price at this point. So if you still would like to enter at 610 because uh, you feel that uh, the stock will not go down any anymore, then uh, that's a much better price than the, than where it is at right now because I see it dropping. Okay, but if you're a position trader, this is your profit taking area and around here, this level, this level, those dips that you see, those could have been your opportunity to buy some more. Okay, but I bet a lot of you guys watching this video are really into Dito for long term. Now let's take a look at the long term. Oh yeah, this was your highest point, so really no historical data at, at the moment. But you know, if uh, this area gets broken, that's a very promising uh, key level because you are in an all-time high. And then uh, if you break that, uh, you don't have a resistance so this stock will just go all the way up and uh, we don't know at which point will it establish a brand new resistance interesting days um future i mean for dito let's take a look at jfc jfc started to recover and at this point i am not surprised that we have some consolidation that is currently happening and then uh this is the second day where you have some profit taking uh, that uh, took place and uh, so far I see it where could it possibly drop next um, could be around this area yeah 165 level uh, but that's fine 165 area is still a very very healthy level look at that how much have we dropped since uh, the uh, first quarter of 2019 this has been very bearish for uh, <clears throat> the year before the pandemic so I, I'm thinking at any anywhere between 165 to 173, it's a good catch for you guys. But good job for those people who have started accumulating right here. So you're starting to uh, see um, some nice greens on your portfolio today. Okay, so just hang in there. I, I see a lot of... Uh, promising movements for JFC, but it will just dip for a few pesos first before it, it bounces. <clears throat> okay, BDO, okay. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how many of you guys are in BDO just to trade. So if indeed you are trading this stock, I hope you have already taken profit. Um, this kind of movement is, a, is not a surprise, you know, because Remember this part? There was a gap up that happened. And uh, at the moment, the stock just revisited that. And it's nice that it did an overshoot. And hopefully it drops up to this level. Well, I re-entered today. Okay. So my I added more volume today. I was able to enter. I just thought around 92 was already a, a, a key area that it will potentially drop. So my order was hit at 92, but it did an overshoot, ended at 91.90 today. But that's super fine because this stock is, uh, look at that. Look at where we are at the moment. This is an ideal entry for those people who are position traders. Um, we, those people who are position traders, we don't really mind waiting for uh, a little longer in exchange for a, a promising setup uh, where we could uh, maximize our uh, earning potential. 
in fact uh, this is just fine because we are this kind of profile cannot commit to a, a daily monitoring like uh, by the minute so we cannot commit to that because we have work or we have some other engagements that we need to attend to um, so that is a profile of a uh, position trader we look for good positions um, that would result in a reversal like this one from a sideways movement to a reversal and uh, right now if you have entered still good level um, because we might see this stock just stabilize around the 90.13 if it is going to still drop um, because for one uh, there was a resistance at that level previous support right here and you are at the uh, the MA20 level, okay. So that's something to look into as well. Another thing to probably um, consider is uh, when they release their third quarter earnings. Look at that. They started to recover um, the loss they had in Q2. See that? So we're now uh, positive. So that's a good sign. We might see probably because the economy is starting to recover. Um, everyone is start, I mean, businesses are starting to open up. So that's a good sign. So 19.13, you guys, that's the uh, uh, entry level. BPI still um, consolidating at the uh, resistance area. So what could uh, potentially happen here is that if uh, buyer or buying sentiment is really solid, chances are it will break that resistance and create a brand new level brand new high and then brand new low something to that effect okay but definitely you are <clears throat> currently seated at a possible resistance so if tomorrow we start around 75 and that starts to continue or it continues to move higher and higher then uh, we have a breakout play right there how far are we yes yeah, still at a very good level for all of us here what about ali Ali still pushing the price higher, but be extra careful. This kind of candlestick is uh, starting to show some decline there. Okay. And uh, next possible support, let's just use that as our nearest support. 34.50 that is. Okay, so that could be a support and if it drops, and if you want to catch it, re-enter, enter right here, 31.43. Okay, what about AC? AC as well is trying to give us some uh, signs of uh, profit taking. So this is again the second day of being red. So I think it'll uh, most likely revisit your MA20 line. Or if not, there could be another level right here, which is around 734 area. There. That could be your, it's an area, guys, so take note of that. Could be slightly higher or slightly lower, but I see it dropping for a little bit more. Uh, I hope this is already a sign right there that uh, there was a, somewhat a rejection when it goes, uh, it went near the 734 key level sm sm is also trying to uh give us uh, some hints right here if you have not taken profit yet uh something that you might probably consider uh, as we might experience some more uh, declines there but uh, with foreign buying Probably the drop could, will not that be a very, very significant drop. Uh, as you can see here, look at this. Uh, when the price hit this key level right here, volume was so huge. And then it recovered and when it dropped, look at the volume. No one, not no one, but we only have a few uh, people exiting the positions. In fact, here, even if it was a red, we, the volume is still very low. That means they're still holding on to it. Okay, and um, let us see if it drops. I just uh, see that when, when it drops some more, it's not that deep anymore. And where could we 
Yeah, we're halfway. This was the peak before. We're already halfway there. Tell. Whoa, Tell finally crossed the MA20. It's the fifth day from the time it crossed the MA20. So the, your next resistance, guys, would be around this level. Okay, so I try to screen up, and then if I look to the left, this is the consolidation area I see. Used to be a resistance right here. There was a resistance here as well, and this one too. So chances are it will push the price higher for uh, probably one or two days, and then profit taking might happen again. But the fact that it's starting to trigger the upper Bollinger Band, we might see this as just a temporary drop, a correction, and then you might see some higher highs um, soon. Overall, the stock, uh, you know, Tel has been dropping uh, for the longest time. It even reached the 3000 level before, uh, and now we're at the uh, 1000 area. So let's just see. Uh, your nearest resistance, guys, is 1,397. URC. URC, let's see. Okay, I think um, this one uh, has already given us some uh, good signs that it indeed has already bounced, although it's red. But that wick for me is already a clue that that key level has been rejected and then people have started buying re-entering uh, for, for this stock. They probably must have entered here, right? Okay, still good good area to um, continue and start uh, and, and accumulate volume. You have your support here, support, support, and uh, this one is a support area too. Okay, so that is your seat. What about Mary Mart? Mary Mart, be extra careful. You are in the short term, right at the resistance area. You know why? If you look to the left, you have this. And then this is the second day, whereby this price level is hit, and then uh, it is the, having a difficult time breaking it. But let's see if the price will start much higher than 346 then uh, that's a breakout play. And um, it just uh, placed our RSI at a healthier level at the moment. We're not at the overbought yet. SMPH? Oh, SMPH might continue to drop. But still, uh, this is very near. Although, wow, this was a big drop right here. Um, let us see if this is already a good trigger that it will continue to move up. But I'm still plotting it there because just in case this will revisit anywhere between 3193 to 3350, that is still a good area to buy. I think whatever the price level is at, uh, right here um, is okay. I'm banking on this long uh, wick right here. There used to be a resistance here, some consolidation that happened here. So look at SMPH guys as a stock uh, worth investing at for mid to long term. Pure gold, we got a resistance at the MA20 line. So try to consider this guys, if you are using a Bollinger Band or an MA to an, an MA. Um, always remember that an MA20 is one of the uh, strongest and uh, effective uh, tool for technical analysis. We are still um, respecting the downtrend channel at the moment. Look at that. Each time it drops and hits the resistance here support here so there's rejection in both ways following that channel heading downwards so where could it possibly drop imagine that it was climbing up significantly before and now it might if it will not revisit 4127 then downtrend is not over yet if it breaks 4150 then it might create some lower lows 
around the 3992 or 40 area. There. Okay, so those are the stocks. These are the stocks. If, by the way, if uh, you're still interested, don't get in yet because it's still a solid red. Wait for a green confirmation, green candlestick to confirm that there is indeed a bounce already. Okay, so far, those are the stocks I've reviewed in uh, our first part. Hopefully, I can still record another one. Uh, so we have two videos for today, and what I'll do is I'll continue the list and talk about GTCAP, and we'll work downwards here. All right. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and bye-bye uh, for now.